Hey guys, welcome back to General Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Sniper Elite 3 for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the Intel HD 4600 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB DDR3 RAM and dual channel memory mode. And I have noticed as of lately, the older the game is, uh, the harder it is with the audio issues with my capture card. For some reason, it doesn't work full screen and it doesn't want to record the audio for some of these games and this one doesn't even have a windowed mode which is unfortunate because I can't even switch it around because of that so unfortunately this video will be without audio I apologize hey we're running Sniper Elite 3 at 960 by 540 on the low preset once again go figure right I don't know man it's weird we're gonna start the game here and hope for the best I really hate the fact that I can't do the audio but hey just to let you know now Everything that you see is how the game actually plays. There is no CPU overhead whatsoever. So at 960 by 540 on the lowest preset, we are getting over 60 FPS. Now, for those of you who came from the Intel HD 620 video, you're probably wondering, holy crap, Javon, you're getting more performance in this version than you were in the previous one. That's what having a good CPU will do for you. Having a good CPU will save your life one day. The CPU is definitely push pushing the system and making it fly right now literally making it fly otherwise this would be a disaster but we are getting over 30 fps once again at 960 by 540 which is always impressive you know I, I can't I can never hate that 960 by 540 I always say was the go to to play at we are maintaining over 30 fps my Jeep my CPU is chilling right now I can't I can't really complain Oh wow, I need to need to breathe. Calm down. That was an isolated shot. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The whole point of the video is to show you the progress of these games and how they run on lower end hardware on the channel, man. I try to get them to run, you know. as best as I can on the channel here the whole point is to see what maybe what they can do what they can't do who knows right and what is playable on low-end hardware did I just pick back up my gun again I'm glad I didn't Okay, let's switch over, let's switch back, let's switch back, let's switch back. Damn. Alright. I'm just trying to shoot at this point, I'm not even bothering. Got it. I knew it. I knew it. It's just all in the angling, man. You, you can get it. You can get it. You don't need to necessarily be, oh, this, I don't need to breathe. I just need to be careful. To be honest with you, this is running better than Sniper Elite V2 did. And that wasn't the remastered version I played, I don't think. Yeah, that was the original. It's running better than that. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I'm just going to mute myself now, so enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time. Like I said, I, I don't bother to do config files on games that I can pull over 30 FPS on a 4600, which is very low end. You know, and we had a lot of breathing room for resolution, so there's not much else you need to do here to even run the game. You can simply just lower the res as much as possible, but I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the gameplay.